name is Patrice Lumumba Roberts. I'm Glenda Roberts. And, and we, we are, are the newlyweds. newlyweds. My number one strategy was to marry her. Okay? Because, <laughs> you know, she's 6'2". She's I'm only 5'7", and I need a little bit of height on the race, you know. Considering that we've only known each other two and a half years total and been yeah. married one year. She's been doing life for a very long time without me. So, you know, learning how to how we fit together is going to be really good. Yeah. And just getting to know my soulmate a little bit better. I, I look forward to that. I'm a very action-oriented person. I'm just like, go make the decision quickly. But you are very much detailed-oriented and very good at building and doing yeah. a lot. Yeah, we of balance each things. other out pretty well. Yeah, she, she tells me what to do and I go do it. Oh, yeah. Because most people think that like she wears the pants, even Thank though she does. Like I do a good job of ironing. Okay, <laughs> I get to do this with my best friend. Yes, and she's so gorgeous too. Oh so my goodness! I get to see this pretty face everywhere I go. So it's win win and see the world. Yeah. Yes. So um, my name is Lamumba Roberts, um, and I'm Glenda Roberts. Yes, we're the Roberts family, um, and I guess you know us from this being my beautiful six two queen. And me being the 5'7 King who are taking tar by storm. <laughs> so we're ready to do this. Okay. What made you all want to be a part of the Amazing Race? Well, we're newlyweds. We've been married about a year at the time of the race. It's a little over a year now. So newlyweds just got married last year in the middle of a pandemic. Yes. Um, and so we, and we have only known each other a total of two and a half years. Yes. Of the two and a half, a year of it has been married. So we're still getting to know each other. And, and I had the bright idea mm -hmm. of uh, saying, you know what, let's, let's throw our hat into the amazing race because <laughs> This has always been a, a huge dream of mine. Yeah. Um, ever since it first came out about 20 years ago. And believe it or not, I've tried to get other people to come on with me, but I didn't have anybody crazy enough to, to join me till 20 years later. You know, I got married yeah. to this woman. So you had to get married woman. and have a good partner. That's Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we're 40 plus year old newlyweds. Yeah. So, you know, it took us a long time to find our soulmates. And we just want to, you know, learn about ourselves, but also encourage other people too, that it's not too late to go for your dreams. You yeah. Know? Yeah. All right, now with you guys being newlyweds and still learning each other, obviously, was there anything specifically that you two learned about each other while participating in this series? My husband is a dope map reader. Like there is no way we could do Germany and and be number two in the first leg without his map reading. And plus this is not in, it's not in English. Like your, your map reading is dope. Uh, I, I did not know that before the race. Yeah, uh, my wife, she really excelled um, at her driving, you know, so we <laughs> kind of, we kind of put it together, you know, um, but more so than that, even like her decisiveness. Um, you know, I don't know how much you could see during the first challenge in Munich, but my wife was the reason why we were able to get through the log challenge so quickly and, you know, the rolling challenge and also the ice pick challenge. So I just sat back and let her do her thing. I didn't know that she was so um, athletic and, um, and I mean, it just worked to our advantage. It really did. You were just winging it then when you signed up for the show, huh? I, I didn't <laughs> I had the right partner and I was like, let's just put her, give her an opportunity to shine, so. <laughs> All right, I want each of you to tell us what was the hardest moment about The Amazing Race. Um, The hardest moment about The Amazing Race. Just, you know what, just, um, it's high stress, as you know. So like high stress in front of the camera, I think for me, um, it's different. I'm just not used to it. So, but I had a great partner. Yeah. So definitely. Yeah, she had the best partner. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> now, yeah. Um, so the anxiety was huge. Yeah. And just the fact that you're in a race for a million dollars, it changes the stakes. You know, there's one thing to, to do something competitively, you know, whether it's through school or athletics or something like that. But when you have other teams that are gunning for a million dollars, you know, it, it's you kind of feel like you're in a shark tank. But the thing yeah. is, is that yeah. you're a shark too. So it's exactly. like, let's bring it, you know? Yeah. Although it was a competition, did you guys bond at all with any of the other couples or any other partners that were on there? Yeah, we did. Absolutely. Right? We bonded with, with pretty much everybody, mm -hmm. you know? Um, yeah. You know, we just all shared our stories. We had time to, as we were competing, to stand to the side and just talk with them. Yeah. And um, and when we did that, uh, you kind of see people's personalities and their characteristics. And then you also get a lot of good intel in order to be able to try <laughs> to overcome them, you yeah. know, in that in that race. 
you know, so. Yeah. All right, now, Lumumba, as a middle school teacher, what skills did you utilize from this, for this experience? Oh my goodness, all of them, <laughs> what you name it. You have high <laughs> pressure because, you know, you have high stakes. Um, you know, every time a child sits down in front of you, you know, it's high stakes for them because if they don't learn it, then they're not able to succeed. So um, to be honest, the, even the thought of their success being on your shoulders is even a level higher than even running for this million dollars. But when it comes to like creativity and reaching the kids where they are and doing things differently, I think that that dynamic that I had um, really added to us creativity, being able to, yeah. you know, to be creative and to think different, new and different ways about approaching the, the obstacles. Yeah. All right, now, Glenda, I'm going to ask you the same question as an insurance underwriter. What skills did you use and utilize in the show? I, definitely the, the, the decisiveness that Lumumba said. Like, Lumumba analyzes and tries to make sure everything is perfect. Over. And I'm like, uh, I'm a go, 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 very action-oriented person. So I don't, I don't have too much analysis paralysis. And that helps when you're in a race. And the race is timed and all that yeah. stuff. It helps. <laughs> Um, do you guys feel like this experience brought you guys closer? Absolutely. 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 Now, have you ever, have you seen The Amazing Race before? Have you seen I Pat have. Up? I used to want to go in there too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like it, it will, it seems like it like makes or breaks couples, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Like you've seen couples like go at, be at odds and like rip, rip each other apart. Like we, it, it, I definitely came out a better wife, I believe. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. We, we came out better for each other. Yeah. Um, learning how to communicate you see we're we're in our 40s you yeah. know and we got married so yeah. it's different when you live life as long as you have either by yourself or with other people yeah. you kind of know how you do life yeah. and so what we learned was how we have to do life together so we yeah. did, we became a much better team our communication got really solid yeah um you know and it, it, it really equipped us to be able to work together because yeah. even if you do have a partner it doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna have to work together with them on something that is as high stakes as you know yeah. multiple <laughs> yeah, multiple activities multiple challenges and you know to be able to succeed yeah and then what if you don't you know so it, it, it's right it's are you gonna be okay right yeah. like it's so yeah. definitely definitely mm -hmm. i think it was definitely a, an experience that brought us closer together and, and strengthened our marriage yeah what do you think sets you all apart from any other couple that we've ever seen on The Amazing Race? Well, I'm six foot two and Lumumba is five foot seven. Yes. <laughs> yes. So he talks about using my height on the on the race, definitely. You, you usually don't see a seven inch height difference in the couples between the woman and the man. I've never seen that on The Amazing Race. <laughs> and on top of that, I've never seen a beautiful woman on the race as my wife. Aww. So, you know, I'm, I'm literally running with a supermodel next to me the entire time. And so, you know, anytime I get nervous, I just look back and I'm like, everything's gonna be okay. Oh, you get extra points to do that. <laughs> I know, that's right. <laughs> Was this experience everything that you ever dreamed of? You said you wanted to go on this show for 20 years. Did it did it satisfy everything you ever thought it would? It really did. It was it was phenomenal and it showed me what's possible, you know, if you put yourself out there. It just, yeah. you know, it was a real it was a huge blessing. You know, while we were there, you know, we were able to not only get to see, you know, all, you know, the places that we got to go to, but we also got to grow, you know, as a couple, mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it was just, it was just overall, it just, you know, it was something that guy really showed us the possibilities, you know, if we just step out there and yeah. we did, you know, and we had a great time doing it. Yes. Do you all feel like this open doors for other like avenues for you guys and other things of that nature at all? Well, it it, I, it definitely did as far as exposure. Um, we we had things going on prior to this, whether it's our jobs or our businesses. For example, you know we have a business, the Roberts Family Three Sixty Five, um, which is which was actually really helpful in us even getting on the race. Um, you know through our social media, and uh, we believe that they saw our dynamic, and that's really what you know set us up even even further to do more of that. You know, now the world gets to see us, uh, you know, work as a team and see what we bring to the table. Yeah, we have fun with the short, tall, short difference. Yeah. We laugh at ourselves on our TikToks, on our Instagram. And so I think that resonated 
and um, drew attention to the people at The Amazing Race and it's worked out for us. What would you like the world to uh, get from you all's marriage? Um, aside from you just being on The Amazing Race, I mean, marriage is a ministry and what would you guys like for us to see? Well, the one message that I have for you is that if you want to be married, then God has a soulmate out there for you. Yes. And I was not a believer in soulmates before. This is actually my <laughs> second marriage. <laughs> the first one ended terribly. And after that, um, I went down a path of trying to discover what relationships were all about and actually realized that soulmates do exist. I had never believed in soulmates before, but this woman made me a believer. And now I know that, that soulmates are out there for everybody. If you're just willing to, you know, like we call it, just make God your matchmaker. Yeah. So, and that's what our passion is to encourage people to find their soulmates, to help them find their soulmates. We want people to be encouraged by our love um, and to have hope and to put themselves back out there. Love is for you, it's waiting for you. Yep. Um, and it's not too late. I don't care what kind of story you have and what disappointments you've had. I was 41 years old when I walked down the aisle for the first and only. Time. I know that's right. <laughs> I know that's right. Um, <laughs> why should people tune into this season of The Amazing Race? Oh my goodness. This what? is, first of all, you guys will be so proud. It, it is the most diverse cast that we have ever seen. And we watch a lot of seasons. In Amazing Race history. Yeah. Let's just put it out there. <laughs> it, 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 there. There's something for everyone. Yeah. And everybody is represented from all of the, the different nationalities and continents, you know, and the, the quality of life experience that everybody has and they bring to this race yeah. makes the competition even more heightened. Yes. So this group of high people, quality people, high quality, highly competitive, yeah. you know, racing for a million dollars. So yeah. just the, the stories that everyone has, you oh know, my gosh. Yeah. Yes. amazing. I'll, I'll let you guys tune in to check it out. <laughs> all right, what can we see next coming from the Roberts? Well, um, <laughs> winning on the amazing race. And in addition to that, um, we're working on a family. So this is an exclusive. Yes. Yeah. Definitely getting an exclusive. Yeah. Yes, we are actively trying for a baby. Yes. So we are. What's next is a family. Our, yes. Our baby. Our baby. At 40. <laughs> Baby in our 40s. Yeah. We, we aren't holding right anything for us. back. All yes. the love, Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> all the good yes. energy, all the prayers this way. We <laughs> want it all. <laughs> I know that's right. All right. Well, what can we leave your fans with? Where can they find you? What else do you guys want to throw out there? Yes. Give it to us. <laughs> so our TikTok is Robert's Family365. Our Instagram is Robert's Family365. Our website. Roberts family 365com so, <laughs> so if anybody wants to reach out to us, it's Roberts family 365 on any of those platforms. Yes. And we love, we'd love to have you as a part of our community. Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for taking the time to speak with us. It was amazing. I am looking forward to you guys expanding your family and growing. I think your love story is amazing. I think it's beautiful. Thank you for giving us hope. And I am excited for you guys and whatever you guys have going on in the future. Thank you <laughs> right. so much. All right, hopefully we can give you, you know, baby news and <laughs> maybe you can break that one too, uh, Michelle. I got you, I got you. We will be, <laughs> we're, we'll be talking to you guys again soon, I'm sure. Yes, <laughs> thank right, you. Awesome. awesome, you guys, you take care.